developed a bit of an obsession for something that kind of took over my life. And, to put it bluntly, pretty much became my life. I neglected everything just to get my fix of this one thing. And if it hadn't been for my mom intervening, I don't know what my life would have been like today. In fact, I shudder even at the thought of it. It all started with a game. That sounds pretty tame, right? Well, hear me out. One day on the school bus, I overheard a group of girls in the year above me talking about this game, Gacha Life. I was so intrigued as it sounded exciting. So as soon as I got home later that day, I downloaded it. And well, let's just say the rest was history. From the moment I downloaded it, I couldn't stop playing it. It's fair to say that I'd always loved anime, and so that just made the game appeal even more. Being able to create my own characters and dress them up in cute outfits with wacky hairstyles, I just loved it. And then there was the fact I could create any scenario for them. I'd always been into storytelling and acting, and this was like a dream virtual world where I could let my imagination run wild and create whatever I wanted. Pretty soon, I was addicted. It's true, I couldn't stop playing it. Have you ever become addicted to a game? That thrill and anticipation of opening the app and waiting for the game to load? I couldn't get enough of it. I'd always been quite sociable, spending my weekends hanging out with friends and helping my mom in the garden, but now literally all I wanted to do was play Gacha Life. At first, no one really noticed. But one night I got so carried away playing that the next moment I realized the sun was rising and I'd played right through the night. I hadn't slept a wink, and at breakfast I fell asleep on my plate of toast. That's when my mom started to worry, and then that day at school things got worse. I'd completely forgotten that we had a math test. I was so tired I could barely focus, so of course I ended up failing. And then I failed the next test. And the test after that, too. All I did was eat, sleep, go to school, and play gacha life. And then after a few weeks, if my mom hadn't called me down to dinner, I'd probably not have even eaten. I just couldn't think about anything else, except the world I'd created inside the game. At the time, I couldn't see it, but I had in fact started to mix up reality with the game. I started to dress like my favorite character I'd made in the game, even wearing the same pink blusher on my cheeks and wearing my hair in pigtails. I think I actually believed I was this character. I'm aware of how delusional that sounds now, but at the time it was totally normal to me. When my friends asked me why I was so busy at weekends now, I told them I had a boyfriend and that I was usually hanging out with him. The problem was, I didn't have a boyfriend, not even remotely. It was my character in the game that had a boyfriend, but I'd mixed up my idea of reality and I seriously believed that the boy in the game was my boyfriend. My friends were dying to meet him and asked me so many questions about him. I wasn't even embarrassed about the fact that I was outright lying to them. Deep down, I obviously knew, but on the surface, I truly thought this imaginary boy was my real boyfriend. I was lying in bed playing the game one night when all of a sudden my mom came storming into my room and asked me to hand over my phone. When I wouldn't, she threatened to cut off my allowance and ground me if I didn't give it to her immediately. She said my friend's mom had called her, inquiring about my boyfriend and asking why I wasn't hanging out with my friends anymore. So now my mom wanted to see my phone to find out who this boyfriend was. She came over to my bed and grabbed it out of my hand. And then she saw what was on the screen. My imaginary characters kissing. And then she looked at me. My bloodshot eyes and unkempt hair. And she told me that if I didn't sort myself out, she'd take me to see a psychologist. Because clearly, according to her, I had a problem. I stayed up so late playing that night that I overslept the next morning. And that's when my mom called it quits. She took me straight to a psychologist that afternoon, even though I protested the whole way there. The psychologist asked me why I seemed so attached to my phone. Then I told him everything. That it wasn't my phone I was attached to. It was this game, Gacha Life. I had been so reluctant to see a psychologist, but actually he really helped me. He made me realize that it's okay to play games like Gacha Life, 
In fact, it can be very beneficial for my imagination and creativity. But there also needs to be a healthy boundary established between how I view the game. It's not real life. It's just a game. And I have to find a balance between my school life and what I do in my spare time. No game is worth jeopardizing my future. And after that first session with the psychologist, I realized I need to live my life in the real world and not escape into the game all the time. I do still play Gacha Life sometimes because it is fun, but it's now a healthy hobby as opposed to an addictive one. I'm so grateful my mom helped me when she did. Otherwise, who knows what level of obsession I might have taken it to. Have you ever played Gacha Life or become addicted to a game? Please share your experiences with us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more stories.